from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful, beautiful Thursday morning. Nice clear skies, Some clouds out on the horizon. 70 degrees right now, the tide's on its way out. Low tide's gonna be around 10 a.m. this morning. Absolutely gorgeous as we look around here. Hear the waves breaking on the shore there. Absolutely beautiful. Got our sea oats down here. Our sea oats are making a comeback since Hurricane Irma. Hurricane Irma buried them all. Sea oats is sea oats are this this grassy looking plant right here. That's what protects our beaches here. That's what uh, keeps the beach from eroding is these sea oats, the root structure of the sea oats. If it wasn't for them, the water would be up in Naples, up into Naples Park. <laughs> you can see finally they're starting to come back. This beach is always changing here. Always changing shape and size. Sometimes during a big storm, we lose some beach. Sometimes we gain some beach. You just never know what's going to happen. <laughs> a little message there. How sweet. It is beautiful out here. A little too much wave action to see anything in the water here this morning. One of our friends, Scott there, commented this morning that he said he heard the stingrays are back out. With these waves, it'll be hard to see them. Look at that sky, is that not gorgeous? There's the boardwalk I just came down. Sun's just coming up over the trees back there. Let's see if there is, let's take a walk down to the water and see what we can find this morning. A lot of small shells along the shore. A little breeze kicking in here now. Take a little walk down to the south end of Area 4 here. There's a little sand castle that somebody adorned with seashells.
kind of cool. That water is pretty churned up here. Hard to see the bottom with these waves. It's 70 degrees right now. I think that's what the water temperature is too, 70 degrees. Expecting a high today of 86. It's really nice out right now. 70 degrees with a little breeze blowing. is looking south down the beach. Pretty clear out this morning. Early morning fishermen. I don't see a lot of shells on the beach here. Pretty empty. We had all these piles of shells last Sunday. There's not much left of them. There were big clumps of shells along the beach. Now yeah, they're just about all gone. And see what's left of them over here up here those are piles of shells they've all been picked through by now been here for about a week darn it here's somebody left a big old hole on the beach i wish people would not do that Please, folks, fill your holes in. That's dangerous, leaving open holes on the beach. Sea turtle nesting season starts What's up, Commander? Hey. How you doing, Deb? Huh? Look, <laughs> Look at that. That is disgusting. That is, that's not a lot. For... Did you see that picture on Facebook from Key West? Oh, it's... One of the keys. Did you see it? Uh-uh. What, the trash? Well, yeah, it was a uh, spring break weekend. There was trash all... I mean, it was covered. Trash. Really? It was an actual picture. From spring breakers? Yeah. It's horrible what they do. They're East... all for environment, but... Yeah, <laughs> exactly. They're kind of hypocrites. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. How's things going? Good. Good, yeah. 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 How was Easter here? Crazy? Easter it was Sunday. Crazy. crazy day at yeah, the beach. People were uh, in grape leaves putting their stirrup. Really? All, yeah. Barbecuing in the woods. Oh gosh. Yeah. So, so you had your hands full Sunday. <laughs> yeah, huh? we did. Full staff Sunday. Yeah. Everybody show up to work. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> did they write any tickets? Uh yeah, FWC was here, they wrote a lot of speeding tickets. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. They actually caught uh, a fella who was uh, frauding uh, workers' comp. Really? Just stumbled upon him. Yep. <laughs> Looked him up and there he go. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. So it was a good day for them. It was a good day for them. <laughs> it was a successful day for them. Good. Well, that's yeah. good. They so what do, you, what do you think about that? Scott, Scott signing that bill for the beaches for uh, uh, the condo owners and I've got a beach. Like right. visitors. Uh-huh. Have you seen it? Ah, I've where I think it's I think it's your visitor where the high tide line is. Uh-huh. That's the only only place you can uh, uh, a person can put their gear, their stuff. Really? Yeah. 
it's on the beach, uh, sandy side, they can't put it there. Really? That's what I read. At the condos? Well, yeah, all that property down there uh -huh. where all the people live in the condos, that's their property. Son of a gun. So maybe you want to read about it. Yeah, we got to check that out. I, I don't just, like it. No, I just saw him Saturday, too. I did, too. I saw him up at Ranger Academy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's yeah. a nice guy. Yeah, I saw him down at the train at the depot at the train museum yeah. Saturday. Huh. You got to check into that. So yeah. Now, so now we're not allowed up on that beach. On the sandy beach. That's how I read it. Yeah, that's BS. Nobody well, else. Well, who's going to clean their beach? Right. I'm not paying taxes for that beach. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Well, and who's good. cleaning it? Exactly. Is the county going to go up and clean it for a fee? Yeah, then for they got to charge that on their, for their fee, maintenance yeah. just fees. Like, just like trash pickup. Yeah. yeah. And the condo owners, their maintenance fees are going to go up because they got to pay somebody to pick, clean that beach. Yeah. Or the maintenance guy. Hmm. Then they have to hire another maintenance guy. we got to look into that. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> interesting point there, Yeah, Deb. I think we need to get it out. Yeah. We need to write our representative. Yeah. Nobody should be allowed to own the beach. You know, I grew up in Florida. Nobody yeah. owned the beach. Never. It's not right to take an environment and think it's yours. Exactly. It's a public environment. Are they going to take the ocean too? Well, the heck, next they'll move it out, you know. They'll say, now you can't walk in the water by the condos. Right, right. <laughs> we'll have to have badges with IDs on Whoop. them. We'll be, we'll be doing security checks. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. I know. But. Yeah, I wonder how who's going to enforce it. Right. So if, if it's not our, if it's not the taxpayer's property, the Sandy Beach, then we should get a cut, cut in taxes in. That's right. We have less less property. Less property yeah. to, to, to worry about. <laughs> there you go. You got to pay for beach renourishment too. That's all about. They're part of the beach for beach renourishment. Oh, a lot of good points. Right. <laughs> Let's write our representative. There you go. I am. I'm all party. right. Stir the pot this morning. Yeah, boy. All right. <laughs> That's good. Have a good one. It's a beautiful day. It is beautiful. Ranger Deb. Interesting. I didn't hear about that. Changing the laws on how much beach they own, the condominium zone. So that's interesting. Got to check into that. Taking some of our beach away. I don't know how they can do that. Sun's getting ready to pop up over the trees any minute here. It's gorgeous. Probably about 71 degrees now. Nice little breeze blowing out here. Nice clear blue skies. Haven't seen Roy yet. I've seen his chair. I know he's here. morning haven't really seen any any interesting shells yet along the beach we're down at the south end of area four right now getting ready to turn around and walk back north head back up towards Wiggins Pass These waves are making it tough to see down into the water, see the bottom here along the shoreline. Don't know what all's out there. One of our friends, Scott, said he heard that the stingrays are back. It's gonna be really hard to see them with those waves. If they're out there, though, you definitely want to shuffle your feet while you're walking along. Do the stingray shuffle. I didn't think, I thought that water was still a little too cool for the rays, but you never know. Look at that sky. Boy, just picture perfect this morning.
breeze blowing, hitting me right in the face here. Maybe sure to check out Nonstop Naples on Facebook. Visit their website, nonstopnaples.com. Download our free app. <coughs> Excuse me. Get on the our rewards program. I can kind of see the bottom here with the sunlight hitting the water. Waves have it. The bottom churned up there. I don't see any stingrays out here yet. I'll keep an eye open for them as I'm walking up the beach. Once that sun comes out, we might be able to spot them swimming along if they're out here. Again, the tide's on its way out. Low tide's around 10 a.m. this morning. There's another hole somebody left on the beach. Please, people, fill your holes in. Have all the fun you want out here, digging holes, making sand castles, but please fill them in before you go home. Sea turtle nesting season is just around the corner now, and these are a huge obstacle for those loggerheads coming up on the beach. And then in a few months, they could be a death sentence for the little hatchlings. If they get trapped in there, then they become easy prey for their predators. So please fill in any holes that you dig. starting to kick in here. It's blowing pretty good now. Let's step out into the water here. It's pretty shallow right in this area. And getting shallower as the tide goes out. The water feels a little warmer than the air temperature, so the air temperature is right around 70, so the water is probably just a little warmer than 70 degrees. Down at the ranger station, it says the water is 70 degrees, but I think it's a bit warmer than that. Got to keep my eyes open for stingrays, if they're truly here. I don't see Roy. I see his, his beach gear up here and I saw his car in the parking lot. I just don't see him. Absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful morning here at Del Norwegans. He's 
good news to hear that Barb is doing doing well now. Our good friend Barb, the shell lady. Hey, bear with me here. I'm gonna snap off a quick photograph of the beach here. Just hang tight. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I'm back. Right out in the middle of Area 4 Beach right now. It's beautiful out here. I'm trying to find something interesting to pick up and talk about, but so far I haven't had any luck. There's a fighting punk out there. I see one fighting punk rolling around and where'd he go? He was just down here. There he is. Oh, it's an empty shell. I thought it might have had a conch inside it. Just an empty shell. Florida fighting conch. Huh, well you had a disconnect there. That's no good. That doesn't usually happen here in Area 4. A lot of small shells along the beach here. It's almost like a little carpet of shells right here. Nothing's catching my eye. Maybe there's a little mossy arc over there. An old, that's a turkey wing. There's an old turkey wing shell right there. We'll keep walking up the beach. You never know what we'll come across here. A little sandpiper. by himself. There's a nice little pile of shells along here. This is that stuff that you really got to spend time digging through to find something. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I haven't seen any dolphins. Didn't see any dolphins Sunday. Maybe we'll get lucky and see a dolphin today. Look at that sky and water. So pretty. Blue, blue, blue. Everywhere you look, it's blue this morning. It's gorgeous. There's Roy, way up at the, at the bend.
There's a little snowy egret ahead of us. A little white bird right on the edge of the water. All right, Sprint is not cooperating this morning. So if you work for Sprint, relay the message that I told them their service stinks. There's that little snowy white egret up here. Oop, just got a fish. Just caught a little fish. Doesn't take them long to swallow it. They just flip it around. There it went. Boom. <laughs> Head first. It's amazing how they spot those fish. Let's see if we if it catches another one here. Where are you going? Even with these waves, they can spot the little fish swimming around there. You gonna get something? Just waiting to see if this little bird catches a fish or not. Oh, it saw one. A little too slow. What? Come on, you gonna catch one or not? harder with these waves for them to catch their fish. They're pretty patient. They don't have anything else to do, I guess. Might as well eat. Many little fish out here, I guess, this morning. Oh, well, Come on, you see something out there? Well, we'll move on, move along. Look at them fluffing up, beautiful. Their little yellow feet.
Beautiful little birds though. The little snowy egret. Great look at the egret. You can see its little yellow feet. They have a really beautiful white plume on the top of their head. See that little band of yellow on its eyes. Whoa, did you see something out there? I love watching the birds here at the beach. Oh, so close. He had something, he dropped it. He or she. Very, very close. Oh well, let's move on. Head up the beach. Oh, Roy's coming in behind me here. What's up, Roy? How are you doing? Hey, wonderful, wonderful. What a beautiful day, isn't it? It's nice. Boy, the old wind is blowing, sun shining. Yeah, got some waves here. Yeah, it's fantastic. Anything exciting up there? Oh, well, they're all milling around talking about it and they're catching the occasional fish, I guess. Talking about catching fish? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah a, lot of, a lot of talk. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> any dolphins or manatees? No, I didn't see any of those. Saw some dolphins yesterday. Did you? Yeah, nice dolphins playing in three or four of them. Oh, wow. Fun plunging around. Well, I wish I saw that. Yeah, yeah. I Somebody... haven't seen you in quite a while. It's only been a couple days, a few yeah. days. So I heard uh, tomorrow's your last uh, concert. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow night. Wow. I had one last night. It was really great. So that's been a glorious time. Well, maybe so, hopefully maybe we'll get somebody will record Friday night and we'll get to share that with yeah. everybody. Do you, do you send me copies of uh, when we chat on the beach? I haven't gotten any for quite Oh, a yeah. While. You should be getting emails every time I put your name uh -huh. in there. Um, well, it isn't under that Hossie's Posse or something, is it? No, no. Nope. Just regular from Rob. Yeah. yeah. The uh, One of our friends, Scott, he said there were... There's stingrays out here. Did you see any stingrays? No, yet? I didn't see any stingrays. I've been going in for my plunges. Yesterday I took a couple, two, three plunges. Was it calm yesterday or was it yeah, like this? Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. Here, with these waves, you couldn't see them if they were out there. Yeah. Uh, how you doing on getting hugs? Good? Yeah, yeah. I had a couple good hugs this morning. And, oh, that's uh, awesome. You know, I, I ran into something interesting this morning. Old Phil, uh, Philip was telling me that that he had a friend that, that got a free cruises because he was an eligible bachelor. Isn't that interesting? So he danced with the ladies, and uh, you know I like dancing with the yeah, ladies so anyway. So how did he get a free cruise? Yeah, he got a bunch of free cruises. He did it for a long time. Now he's passed away, but uh, he was 80 years old, and they, they gave him free cruises as an eligible bachelor. I wonder how he got hooked into that. that I don't be... know. He did a bunch, so I'm going to call the cruise lines and see if that's really... Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Yeah, what a, what a, what a delight! <laughs> be cruising around with all the ladies. Well, I like dancing with ladies anyway, and yeah. uh, fun to chat with them. So that'd be a good time. Wow, that sounds like a well, great I'm, possibility. I'm there. gonna call the cruise lines and see if this. Uh, we'll never see you again at the beach. <laughs> You'll be out cruising all the time. <laughs> Your love out on the water on the boats. Yeah, I really I enjoy cruising. It's a lot of fun. Maybe they'll let you take the helm on one of those big cruise ships. Yeah, shows. yeah. <laughs> well, it, it, it couldn't be over 100 tons. So. Uh, I think they're a little over 100 tons. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe they'll let you in the radio room. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with my communications license, my yep. amateur radio license. There you go. <laughs> yeah. When I was a kid, I made that crystal set. That's why they put me in their communications in the Navy. <laughs> Isn't that something? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, oh, they were my. looking for anything. Any any kind of talent back in those days, every little bit helped. Yeah. Well, I could take the code. Yeah. You learned your Morse code? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned the Morse code to take that. Yeah, that was something. I think we had to do that in Boy Scouts. We had to learn Morse Morse code. Yeah. It took, took forever to send something out, but yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess it's all done by computer. Oh all yeah. The world. Yeah. It's things have changed yeah, since Morse code. Yeah, we had a bunch, bunch of radio men sitting there with their earphones on and. Cutting away on that little key, and yeah. that's how it works. Look at that sky, just beautiful, huh? Isn't this morning. Wonderful? I didn't have any pink sky this morning, though. The other mornings I've had that pink, pink yeah, that reflection in the ocean. Oh, yeah, it's a lot out of orange this, this morning. Out of this yellow. world, yeah. Yeah. Out of this world. I guess there wasn't, was there any clouds? I didn't see a lot of clouds out there this morning no, at no, the sunrise. But it is beautiful, that's for sure. I'm gonna walk a little further up the beach. I'll come back and connect with you and get I'll, I'll get that. that um I don't know thought for the day from you. <laughs> Thursday's thought for the day. Thought for the day is hopefully uh cruises as <laughs> an eligible bachelor. Think think of something profound for us <laughs> while you're taking the rest of your stroll here and I'll connect with you in a little bit. Okay. All right. Nice seeing you, Rob. All right, Roy. Always okay. great seeing you out here. Great. Yep. See you in a little bit. Hmm. He let two get by him. That's interesting. He usually gets a hug from the ladies out here. our friend Steve there with his metal detector coming up the beach. This is like our little country club out here. A lot of the same people you see time and time again here. All, all happy people out here at the beach. Everybody's got a smile when they're out here. Could have something to do with the serotonin. The serotonin that's in the air. They say when the waves are breaking, it creates more serotonin and everybody's even happier. How could you not be happy out here? It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful blue sky with those green trees. Well, there's a nice little cockle shell on the beach. Nice little cockle shell. Beautiful colors on the inside. The cockle shell. That is a nice shell right there. Nice little specimen. What's neat is out on the sandbars, when we have our really super low tides, you'll find these live cockles out there. The whole shell, you'll see them partially open with the cockle inside. The cockle, it's a bright orange muscle inside. Now when you look at all these shells on the beach, it's kind of hard to imagine that there was something living inside of them at one time. I mean, it's just amazing, it's mind boggling that something was alive inside all of these shells. That beautiful little scallop. Oyster shell. Kind of looks like a like a pig's ear. <laughs> I love oysters. Mm. Some fresh oysters, some horseradish, mm. some lemon. I love oysters. It's part of a little moon shell. Just a little tiny piece of one of a baby shark eye just the eye that was a little one that would have been a nice find that's just the eye of the shark eye or moon shell see you stop and bend down and you just never know what you're gonna find 
mixed in with all these little shells. Little piece of worm rock over here. That's so cool, the worm rock. There's an old jewel box, piece of an old jewel box shell. Pretty worn and flattened out now. Little kitten's paw over here. A kitten paw. Those are neat little shells, the kitten paws. Beautiful Thursday morning here at Del Nor Wiggins. This is up in the north end of Naples, Florida. The very northern end of Naples, Florida. Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. There's a mile of beach here. No homes or condos, all natural. Absolutely beautiful. Well, here's a really old conch shell down here. Look at this, this is all, it's all faded, lost all its color. Let's see if I can get it into the sunlight. Get a little sunlight on it. It's completely faded. It's almost turned white, a light gray. A little color on the inside still. That's a really old Florida fighting conch right there. We've got a lot of Florida fighting conchs out in the water, live conchs. Remember, we don't ever take any shells home that have a living animal inside. Always check before you take a shell home. That includes sand dollars and sea stars. We have a lot of them as well out in the water. There's a little cockle right there. A little cockle shell. A big kitten paw there. That's a big one. Big kitten's paw. There's a little jewel box. And got some of the spines on it still. See it there? You can just see some of the little spines. They get pretty long, those spines on these jewel box shells. Those are just some little nubs. Get it to focus there. See what else we can find. There's another little kitten's paw. Those are so cool. There's people that just collect these kitten's paws. Got to straighten up here. Straighten the old back out for a second. Give you a look around out into the Gulf. Walk up the beach a little further and see what we can find. Beautiful out here. So relaxing listening to the waves. Nice little breeze blowing out here this morning.
morning. Hi, Steve. Oh, here's a little tip from a worm shell down here. A worm tip. It's just the tip of the worm shell. A wormy tip is what they are commonly referred to as. Another little kitten's paw. Nice colors on that one. Most people just walk along the beach looking for the big shells. Slow down and take your time. You find some really neat little, neat little shells. Hey, hit the share button. We still got a little while left here in our beach walk. Have your friends join in. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. There's a turkey wing shell down here by my feet. This is a medium sized turkey wing right here. Should be pretty obvious why they call that a turkey wing, huh? The turkey wing shell. Gobble, gobble, huh? Meat shells. Hmm, did Steve find something here? You never know what you're going to find on the beach here. Alright, false alarm. By Roy, I just found a whole can of pennies. A whole can of pennies? Someone had filled a whole can of pennies. Huh? Dropped it in a hole. I mean, it was busting out. Wow. There must be 500 pennies in that can. Wow. Well, that's going to weigh you down. <laughs> I left it back by, by, by Roy. <laughs> with Roy, good yeah. idea. <laughs> I, said, I said, move it around. If you move, move it up with you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Hey, at least it's something. Yeah. Money's money. <laughs> I didn't have to be a camp of quarters. Oh, exactly. <laughs> a whole can full of pennies. Wow. Maybe they're really old pennies. That'd be neat. You just never know what you're going to find here along the beach. There's actually quite a few people that come out early in the morning with those metal detectors. Let's see what else we can find along the beach here. Morning. What else is out here? I haven't seen any stingrays. Friend Scott 
said he heard there were stingrays out here. I haven't seen them, but it's a little rough. If they're out here, it's gonna be hard to spot them. I think the water's still a little too cold for them. These little waves, aren't they neat? So nice listening to the waves. Clouds moving in now. Sun's kind of peeking in and out of the clouds every once in a while here. Big breeze blowing. An old conch shell over here. This is pretty worn out. Kind of neat, these worn fighting conchs. This is cool. You can look down in the top. It's got a couple shells jammed in it. That's looking down inside the top of a fighting conch shell. It's pretty cool. Over here, it's a little piece of red bearded sponge. This has been up on the beach for a while. It's lost its color. Now it's kind of brown. Well, this is normally a, a deep, like maroon color. They call it red bearded sponge. Neat, Neat stuff. Our friend Barbara Grove talked about this a couple times. Interesting, the red bearded sponge. See how soft it is and just pops right back up? Yeah, this one's a little, a little dried out. Still love to see some dolphins out here. Roy said he saw a few out here yesterday. There's a little piece of finger coral down here. You'll find bits and pieces of this finger coral up and down the beach. There's a coral reef just offshore. That's just a piece of finger coral there. Every once in a while, you can find some pretty nice big pieces of it. Always find beautiful, always find colorful shells here. There's no shortage of colorful shells. Look at the pattern on that one. Kind of looks like a sun ray. Sun rays. Doesn't that look neat? That's beautiful. That's a keeper there. Look at that. I hope Roy comes up with a thought for the day for us. Everybody looks forward to hearing that. I'll stop and check with them on the way back down the beach. Oops, let's see, we got disconnected here. Pretty breezy here this morning. Our signal's been cutting in and out here. There's no Wi Fi out here on the beach, so we're just using our Sprint cellular service, my Sprint cellular. And Sometimes it's not very dependable. So if you work for Sprint, relay that message. To get me better cellular service out here for these live feeds. It's not good advertisement for Sprint when I lose my signal. You should be giving me free cellular service. <laughs> Just a thought.
little sandpipers running around the beach here. Love watching those little guys running around. They're usually running in and out of the waves. It's beautiful out here though with the clouds. I like the clear blue sky, but it's nice seeing the little puffy clouds too. That's really what Southwest Florida skies are all about right there, the clouds. Well, especially in the summertime, boy, we get some incredible cloud formations down here. See a little green in the water up here. More blues than greens today come blue up from the sky. Of course, the Gulf of Mexico naturally is a green color, more of an emerald green. But the bluer the sky, the bluer the water looks. This is definitely paradise here. Had a lot of trees knocked over here by the hurricane, sadly. Hurricane Irma back in September. She came through Southwest Florida and definitely made a mess. These little shells are just so beautiful. Look at the colors. This is a little scallop. Got to get some sunlight on it. I think I'm sensing a little red tide in the air here this morning. That's not good. There's that little scallop I picked up. Isn't that beautiful? Almost purple. That's a beautiful little shell right there. The scallop shell. That's a little one. You can find some pretty nice size ones here if you're patient. Not sure when my next beach walk is gonna be, so. Maybe Sunday if I'm lucky. Got a busy schedule, there's an old jewel box. Great to hear that our friend Barbara Grove is doing well. That was good news. Barbara Grove, the shell lady. I gotta credit her for teaching me a lot about seashells. Oh, even though there's a bunch of little waves here, you can still see the bottom up here. Pretty clear considering the wave action, turning up the bottom.
gonna get windy here when we come around the corner. No trees blocking us here. Folks hanging the shell on the tree over here. There we are up at Wiggins Pass, the north end of Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park. This is where all the fishermen hang out here. This is the only place in the park you're allowed to go fishing south end of the park is for swimming only, fishing only up here, no swimming. Beautiful morning. Yeah, there must be a little red tide out here because there's a couple dead fish washed up on the beach. See one over here, a dead mullet. Tide, just something you deal with in Southwest Florida. There's another piece of finger coral. It's a neat little piece there. Quite a few people up here at the pass. Looks like a lot of fishermen. Really breezy up here. Wow. That's different. Morning. Turn around, face into the wind here. Wiggins Pass there in front of us. That's the mouth of the Cocahatchee River. On the other side of the pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve, another beautiful beach. That's a county park over there, Delmore Wiggins. Yeah, it's a state park, a Florida State Park. Absolutely gorgeous. Bear with me while I snap off a couple photos. All right, I'm back, sorry about that. I can only do one thing at a time here. It's either video or photos, sorry. too many people. There's a little olive shell down here. A little olive shell. An olive shell.
Well, it's time to turn around and head back down the beach and check in with our friend Roy. See if he's got a thought for the day. there. Very, very shallow water out there. It's beautiful. Quite a few fishermen out here this morning. Give you one more look at the pass and then we'll head back down the beach and chat with Roy. about that. The screen's a little sensitive. There. You can see how shallow that water is out there. Pretty standard price. Half hour or so. Well, let's head back down if we see anything interesting, head down towards area four and check in with Roy. We found it. Nice little shells so far this morning. It really doesn't matter. Just being out here is a treat all in itself. It's a blessing to be able to come out here. Boy, the wind is really strong. It's blowing the phone around here. It's hitting me right in the back now.
pelican flying along the, just above the water there, flying right into the wind. is just not very reliable this morning. Keep losing our signal here. Get out of the zoom mode. Just hundreds of birds flying off the end of Barefoot Beach there. I was trying to show them to you and then we lost our signal. I can, how far much I can zoom in there. I don't know if you can see all the birds on that little sandbar down there or not. Every once in a while they just all take off. It's pretty neat. I don't know if you can see them sitting down there or not. That's Lely, Barefoot Beach. That's fine up there. Absolutely gorgeous out here. We're at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park up in North Naples, just walking south. South down the mile long beach. Del Norwegian's is up in North Naples, Florida. 
case you're new to our beach walks. Make sure you let everybody know where you're from, where you're watching from. That's part of the fun here, everybody getting to know each other. We're a little community here, a little beach community on Facebook. Letting you enjoy the sounds of the waves here, the sounds of the beach. Temperatures in the mid 70s right now, expected to be 86 today. Water temperature is probably up around 72 degrees. It's gorgeous. highlights of these morning beach walks is getting to talk with our friend Roy to talk to Roy Roy's 93 he's a World War II and Korean War veteran never know what what he's gonna say in the mornings sometimes he's got some really interesting stories to share sometimes we have a serious conversation. Sometimes it's just fun, you never know, but it's always a treat talking to our friend Roy. Hey Mike, how are you doing? Fine, you? Good. Any luck this morning? I don't see a bag. Nah, <laughs> no, nothing no, this morning. Nothing in your bag. No fossils. No shark's teeth. No, sh oh, she has sharks. She teeth. found some shark's teeth little this ones. morning. Oh, uh, yeah. little ones. I gotta see those. <laughs> so how you been? Good, good. You guys, when are you getting ready to head home? End of April. End of April. Thank back God to New this Jersey. year we stayed extra. Quick. Yeah, it's pretty bad up there. We're getting snow this weekend again. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. It is crazy. You can have it. <laughs> yes, they can have it. <laughs> yeah, they can have it. Well, good luck. I hope you find something up there, Mike. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good one. Yep. That's our friend Mike from New Jersey. They're into fossil hunting, him and his wife. There's a lot of neat fossils out here along the beach. This is wife Mary up here. Hey, Mary, I heard you found some shark's teeth this morning. Just a, a, a couple little, little ones. Little, I mean. You no, know, so what? They still bitty, count. Bitty little. Oh, oh boy, they are little. I mean, ones. I'm telling you. Little baby shark's yeah, teeth. Yeah, a little itty bitty one. He's cute, though, and this little yeah. piece of bone fragment. Oh, that's a, that's a piece of bone? Yeah, this little one here. Oh, wow. This, I don't know what some it sea is. Sea glass. This, I thought was kind of cool looking, so yeah, I picked it up. I don't know what that is. Yeah. And then I love these. Pretty, pretty. Oh, yeah. Nice. I don't know exactly what they are, but they're really cool. Huh. The colors are really cool. I have a whole jar of them. Wow. Is that a stone? Yeah. Is it a rock? Yeah. They do find amber here. Oh, really? Amber? Up, up a ways. Now, I don't know if that's what that is or not, but I just like huh. them. I think they're really pretty. They're very yeah, that's colorful. Neat. They dry in nice color. Do they stay them. shiny when they... Uh, they get a little bit duller, but a they keep duller. that nice lemony color. Wow, that's neat. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So, hey, like I said, So Mike, Mike says you stayed a little extra this. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> Especially considering they've had one snowstorm up yeah. there and they're going to have, have another, another one. another one, he yep. said, yeah. Yep, our daughter said there'll be another one coming in Friday. I know we've got several people from New Jersey watches, so <laughs> they're very jealous of you, very envious. We're here for another month. Oh, no. Our friends are just heading back. They made North Carolina yesterday, so they hopefully will get home before the storm hits, so that's wow. good. Yep. Well, good luck on your hunting there. Thank you. It's good you seeing you. Bye-bye, Mary.
beautiful view up the beach here. Beautiful view. I'm sorry for that interruption, but I just can't resist taking pictures here. It's such a beautiful view looking up the beach. Well, let's continue our walk down south. Catching up with Roy here. Got to check in with him before I leave. I don't know if I'll be able to make it out here this weekend. Maybe this Sunday. Maybe this Sunday for a little beach walk. As we get here a little before 8, I start right in the middle of parking lot 4 on the boardwalk. If anybody wants to meet me out here and tag along, that's great. You can help me look for shells, look for shark's teeth. It's always nice having an extra set of eyes. This is looking south down the beach here. You see there's no homes or condos along the beach. It's all unspoiled. Natural beauty here at Del Norwegans. Be sure to tell your friends about these beach walks, if that is, if you enjoy them. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Nobody pays me to come out and do this. I love doing it. I love sharing our beach with you, but a little extra money always helps. Helps pay the phone bill. Very important to keep the phone bill paid here. If you want to make a little contribution, you can find my PayPal account information in the description of this post a little bit later. This looks like our maybe our fire department coming up the beach here. Yep. Uh, as our sheriff or one of our local deputies. Patrolling the beach. Got to make sure everybody's doing the right thing out here. Play it safe. Oh boy, must be up under the trees this morning. We're at the north end of Area 4 now. Yep, there he is, all bundled up, I don't, covered up in a beach towel under there. Wonder if our ospreys are in their nest this morning. Where's the nest? The nest is right up here in the center of the tree, our osprey nest, right up there. I don't hear any chirping. Oh, there's probably somebody in there. The female's probably up there. It's hard to see from this angle. Beautiful though, the colors. Look at that blue sky. Wow. That is a picture right there, isn't it? Ah, speaking of pictures, I'm going to take another one. Bear with me. Then we'll go chat with Roy. All right. Let's head under the pine trees and visit Roy. See what he has to say. Before we sign off this morning. Hey Rob, how are you doing this morning? Roy, Roy, you're in the shade. Well, it's, uh, it's the old sun coming out pretty darn good. It's getting pretty hot here. It's getting really beautiful. You got That's a jacket on just still. Beautiful. Goodness. Well, You're all bundled up. Well, there's a breeze blowing in. Yeah, not here. And I'm in the shade. <laughs> You're in the sun. 
Oh, okay. Yep, I'm in the sun, all it right. Ma it makes quite a difference. Oh, yeah, it does. <laughs> Probably 10 degrees. Hey, how's everything going for you, Rob? Oh, it's going good. How yeah. about you? Wonderful. Never better. Life's just glorious. I love it. <laughs> so, did you think of anything profound as yeah, you were walking? Yeah, as a matter of fact, did you get I a chance you. to talk to Mike down at the end? No, I didn't know he was down there. Gosh yeah, darn it. Yeah, he's I down there fishing like mad. Well, huh. anyway, I talked to him this morning. You know about Mary being in the hospital. Yep. Well, I think that's the word of the day. You know how why she's in the hospital and broke all those bones? Yeah. She tripped on a little bit of a fold in the carpet. Oh, my goodness. And that's what did it. And, and in the hospital, there were six other people that were there in the hospital because they tripped on carpets. Six other people when she was there. Oh and they said goodness. that's the biggest cause of accidents. Really? So that's my word for the day. Throw out the carpets. <laughs> or if you don't, if you can't throw them out, if you, if you really need them, which uh -huh. I don't think you do, be careful about little ridges in the carpet because that's, that's what did her. And she broke oh, yeah. both, both her legs broke, the rotator cuff separator, ribs broke. I don't know what all, just falling down, tripping on the carpet. Oh my gosh. In the hospital three months. And she can't put any weight in it for six months after that. Got to have a wheelchair. Holy mackerel. That's Fisherman Mike's wife we're talking about, folks. Mary, Mary. yeah. Yep. We'll keep and her all in your, that from a little rumple in the carpet. When she, uh, at work it was, actually. Oh, at work it happens. Yeah, yeah. So, well, our bones get brittle. The old, more brittle the older well, we get, too. So you know, I'm, so. I had little little carpety things by the door that you kind of wipe your feet on when right. you're coming. Throwing them out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, no kidding. Because I, I kind of hooked my feet on one of those the other day. Yeah, uh, yeah, oh, I mean, I didn't fall, but I could have, you know. Well, she's recovering slowly. Well, yeah. I mean, she's months. posting pictures of herself on Facebook, Mike is, and her, so. Yeah. But that's terrible. Yeah, breaking bones. A little rumple in the carpet. I got another friend of mine. His wife is in, is in rehab. She broke two of the bones in her leg, older gal. And it's been months now. So what did she? What did? How did she do that? I don't know how she did it. Um, she just, she just, she just fell. But I mean, can you? Believe and it was it? actually just the fault. They didn't. Yeah. It was the weight of her body that broke the bones when she but fell. Can it you believe snapped. it? Six other people in the hospital yeah. when she was there for the same thing. Yeah. Trip on a carpet. And that's they crazy. said that was the biggest cause of accident. So that's my carpet. word of the day. Throw Get out rid the, of your carpet. Throw out the carpets. Yeah. You don't well, need them. You don't need them. The floor is better anyway without carpet. Goodness. Either well, you know Barbara. Hardwood. You know Barbara was in the hospital, right? Who is Barbara? Which Barbara? Barbara, our the, shell friend. The shell, really? Yeah, she was in the hospital. Well, just a checkup, wasn't it? No, she went in in an emergency. She what thought she was having a heart attack a week ago. What happened? I didn't know that. Oh yeah. Well, she's fine now. It wasn't a heart attack, thank goodness. She's oh, back my, home, but Oh my gosh. It was it was anxiety. She was basically having an anxiety attack from the stress of moving. Oh, that moving. Yeah, moving is a lot. Her cruise of she's going on and was she going on a cruise? Yeah, wasn't she going to Antarctica or something? Isn't that what she said? Oh, Antarctica? there was something about Didn't that. Didn't she say that? Yeah, She was yeah. taking a big cruise? Yeah, Antarctica. Sounds yeah. a little cool. I thought that's where she said she was going. Uh -huh. But yeah, so basically it was stress, but it put her down for a couple of days. She was in the hospital. I wonder if they need eligible bachelors on the cruise to Antarctica. Wouldn't that be fun, huh? <laughs> You'd be in your glory there. Man. <laughs> It'd be a little nippy, though. I... I kind of like warm weather these days. Yeah. Oh, well, there'd be lots of ladies that need hugs to keep yeah, warm. Yeah, you are kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could hug the big sea lions. Yeah. So what you got planned for the rest of the day? Anything exciting? Well, I'm going to hang in here and read some good books, and then I'm going to uh, head on home and uh, get on the phone to the cruise companies and see if they need eligible bachelors. See if they need bachelors. eligible bachelors. <laughs> That's a good one, Roy. Yeah, well, I, he wasn't, I thought he was kidding me at first, but he wasn't. He had a friend that did that quite a bit. Free cruises. Not gigolos, eligible bachelors. Yeah, not Big gig. difference there. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just for the ladies or somebody to dance with. Well, you I, are, like, I like dancing with ladies anyway. You do. You certainly like the shake and shimmy on the dance floor. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, life's an awful lot of fun. Isn't, isn't it? it? Well, it's tomorrow. A really see. great time. You got your farmer's market tomorrow morning, your concert 
tomorrow yeah. afternoon. Yeah, Your last one that? for the season. How about that? Yeah, I think we're... I don't know if Jennifer Ann's gonna go there or not. Yeah, she's gonna go with it. Yeah, go with hopefully the concert hopefully too. she'll get some video and we can share that. I told her make sure she turns her phone the right way <laughs> so we get some good video. Good, good. Everybody wants they they hold their phone. See how my phone's this way? That's how you watch TV, you know? Your TV screen is rectangular. Yeah. And people hold them the other way and it then all you have is a little strip in the middle of your TV when you watch the video. Yeah. So you gotta make sure you turn your phone sideways when you're videotaping. A lot of people forget to do that. Oh, it should be this way instead yeah. of upright? Right, it should be like mine is here. Oh. Because that's what a TV screen looks like. I gotcha. Yep. Oh boy. So now that was your thought for the day, huh? Throw out that nasty old carpet. Uh, well, apparently they're really dangerous. I, I didn't think, didn't realize that until he, and then sure enough, I stubbed my toe on that little carpet I had by the door. Hmm. You know, I've, I've done that quite a few times. I don't fall, but you know, you just kind of hook your, your right. foot on it a little bit. Well, it's but, better be safe than sorry. You aren't kidding. Out with the little carpets. You know I did not. I walked up there. I did not see Mike. Was he already, was he way down at the end? Yeah, yeah, he was milling around with all the fishermen. I did not see him there. Maybe he walked out on the little sandbar there, I don't know. Huh, I didn't see him. I heard somebody say, hey, Rob, and didn't sound like him. Uh, uh. People say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, they want to be on Facebook. All our, all our Facebook friends. They want to be meet seen. a lot of people out they here. They want to be seen by 20,000 people. There you go, all those Facebook friends. <laughs> 20,000 and more. More <laughs> and growing, oh. yep. Oh my gosh, yep. Well, We're gonna. I want to get up to a hundred thousand now. Well, you're really famous. No, well, you're famous. You should turn it around, and take a picture of yourself. No, so people, people don't want to see that. Oh no, no, you're a handsome guy. Then no, they, that they scares know who's them. doing all this. That I look like a monster. <laughs> oh, I, I turn around. otherwise, people don't know what they oh, they, they know they what told, I look they like. told me. I, uh, you know, don't see Rob on this. Don't know what he looks like. Nobody ever said that to me. Yeah, they did to me. <laughs> hey, here he's coming to get his can full of pennies. That was funny. Did you see the can he, full of pennies? Uh-uh. I, uh, I got it on the bench. Where is it? I want to see it. Stock full of pennies. Oh, this was that can full of pennies that our friend Steve was telling us about. They found with this metal detector. Somebody filled a beer can with pennies. And he found that buried in the sand. That's pretty funny. They don't look like they're old pennies. That would have been something huh, if they were old, valuable pennies. That thing's pretty heavy. <laughs> wow. Just find all kinds of crazy things on the beach. <laughs> well, see, so you can take all those pennies and buy another Bud Light with them. <laughs> He's got even some more in his pocket that came yeah, out. Oh, really? They fell time. out? Yeah. I said, uh, next time, next, I hope they fill it either with gold or with quarters. At time. least quarters. Yeah. There you go. That's well, funny. Gold would be nice, too. <laughs> yeah, pick up a nice thing ahead of you and pick up gold like yeah, that. Gold. How long have you been coming out here on the beach, Mike? Or 30, Steve? 35 years. 35 years? To this beach? This beach. Wow. Yeah, he started when he was 60. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> started when yeah. he was 60, yeah. 30 years ago. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was wow. five years older than Roy. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you you've met, you got to meet his wife and you met Audrey. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, I've been on this beach since 1979. So wow. that's how long is that? What is, the, what is like the neatest thing you have found out here? Not necessarily the most valuable, the neatest. The coolest thing. It was those bracelets that day you come oh, find. Yeah, I, found, I found a, the neatest thing. Well, I'll tell you what the best thing. <laughs> the best. <laughs> a ring with 56 diamonds and 16 emeralds in it. Oh my lord! At La Playa Beach about 30 years ago. Oh my gosh! It was a it was a sparkle. I mean, it was just loaded with diamonds and emeralds and. Oh wow! It was, beautiful. It was the most beautiful ring I've ever found. It's the only ring I ever sold. I had to sell it oh, probably 20 years ago to make a mortgage payment. I got $12,000 for it. I oh, it my probably, Lord. It was probably valued at 20 some. I'm sure it was. Oh, yeah. They probably took advantage of no, it, I'm, I'm sure. sure. They did, like I said, but it's like, if I got 12000 I know it was worth. <laughs> Who knows? You know, why would somebody even wear something like that to the beach? I, I mean, you're just asking for trouble. <laughs> it was a big, wide platinum band. It had custom-made diamonds in it. Two, wow. Two custom-made diamonds, and it had all the other emeralds and diamonds around that. It wow. Was, that was the nicest find I ever found. 
I found a, sh a Spanish ship spike. Really? Uh, yeah. Uh, For any gold teeth out here? Lots of gold teeth. Really? Yeah, you know, I, I show Roy all the time. Yeah, gold I can't teeth. It. People... I bet I've got. Why were their teeth fall out? <laughs> I, I bet off this beach here, I've got 10, 12 gold teeth. And and I've got a, a couple of years ago, the grills that they put on their teeth. Right. Top I didn't know bottom. those come off. Top and bottom, I found them. I thought the guy probably laid them there so he wouldn't lose them or something. And, then and it was gold? With them. They were both gold. Gold or silk? Gold. 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 Wow. 14 karat gold, top and bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Yeah. Like I said, but there's, uh, there's all kinds of things. It's just fun. Yeah. I never know what I'm going to find. You I had said, those I, bracelets that day you showed me. Oh, yeah. I got have you, have you found any rare coins out here? Not out here. I used to do it up in Ohio. Uh-huh. Around old churches and schools. Uh -huh. so that's where I find my old, old coins and stuff like that. It's up there. But here, if you go to the other coast, you get the Spanish coins. And right, stuff. right. Over here, it's just, dude, nothing was here until 1927, I think. And they built right. the bridge over the river. So Naples was just basically a fishing town. Right. For nothing. And the Indians didn't have a lot of metals. No, no, no. It was all no, I found Indian arrowheads out here. Arrowheads, yeah. Some pottery. Pieces yep. of pottery out here. Uh, yeah, there's Indians. We've there. got, you know, Bill, right, from Canada. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He finds, a, he's found quite a few arrowheads. Yep, yep. He yeah, found, yeah. I, he's never, I've never seen it. He found this huge old prehistoric shark's tooth out yeah, here. I saw yeah. the shark's tooth. Did you see it? Yeah. The, the old one? Wow. I got Gem some ball. copper arrowheads at home. You can copper those. arrowheads? Those copper are worth some bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I wonder where they got the copper from around here to make those. Well, up, I know up around Michigan, they, it's called float copper. Uh -huh. And it's actually the nuggets that in the Lake Michigan, they actually took the nuggets out and made stuff out of those nuggets. I mean, it was like pure copper. Huh. Well, those arrowheads weren't down there. I got them back in Wisconsin. Oh, you found them up north. Yeah, Wisconsin. I was going to say, I don't know where they north. would make good copper down here in Florida. The thing is, is I'll find these flint arrowheads down here, and there's no flint in Florida. They had to trade that down from right up north. Flint, somewhere. yeah, the flint ones, yeah. Yeah, so, so. Wow. Good stuff down here. I'm gonna take my pennies and go home. Yeah, take your treasures, your yeah, can of pennies. You say you got some in your pocket? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Let me more in my pocket. Probably Boy, 30 or 45 out of the can. I think you better check Roy's pockets. He's probably got a pocket full of pennies now. <laughs> he took all the gold coins out of it. There you go. <laughs> all right, it's good talking to you, Steve. Roy. Have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too, Rob. I'm gonna try I'm gonna try to get out here Sunday. I can't make any promises. Oh, I hope you're another it, man. another couple another month here of work, and then things probably are going to start slowing down. But I got to get take it when I can get it. Yeah, well, how are things going in that department? It's going pretty good. Going real busy. Yeah, huh? I'm kind of falling behind on some things because I come out to the beach and goof off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, you got to get that serotonin time. Oh, that's important. You got to come out here sucking. There's a lot of serotonin. it today with that wind blowing and the waves breaking. There is. It's a serotonin. I state. got a little cough too. Do you get a I little think cough? The, I think the red tide's yeah. coming back. A little red. I, I got fish. it in my eyes a little. Burned yeah. my eyes. Not real bad, but I felt myself coughing well, a little. They got red morning. tide south of here, I guess. Yeah. Dang Mar it. Marco Island. Yeah. This is something we got to deal with here. Yeah. You know what? It could be a lot worse. <laughs> if that's all we got to worry about is a little red tide and a little hurricane once in a while. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> and a few falls. Yeah. Falling on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Falling on the carpet. Boy, I'm telling you, I couldn't believe how serious that is. It is. A little rump on the pot carpet and you're all cracked up. Well, so. there goes my sponsorship from the carpet company. Yeah. <laughs> Garnish. <laughs> they were just thinking about sending us some money, Roy. Well, if they stretch them taut and nail them down, then it's well, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, it's always good seeing you. Okay. Have a great day. I think you can lose that towel. I'm starting to break out in a little sweat here. Oh, really? Well, you're in the sun. I'm in the shade. <laughs> you're in the little strip of shade That's under the tree. Me. Oh, gosh. Gorgeous out here. Well, you have a blessed day, brother. Yeah, wonderful. Always wonderful seeing you. Always. Tally-ho. Have a great day. Good luck tomorrow night. Sing loud so you stand out above everybody else in the I'm video. I'm off key, but that's all right. I'm loud anyway. I don't care if you're off key. Be loud. <laughs> See you later. Take care. Oh, boy. Tomorrow's his last concert. And hopefully, we'll get a little video that we can share from Jennifer Ann.
You know, the one thing that we don't get a lot of here is people sharing photos and videos. Please, please share your beach photos and videos with us. That's what this page is all about. It's not just me and the beach walks and whatever else I post. It's about you guys too. That's what it's here for. So please feel free to post pictures and videos. I do monitor everything, so keep it clean. Any negative comments and smart remarks get removed. Every once in a while I'll miss them, and if you do find something like that, let me know about it. I can get rid of it. We don't tolerate any nonsense here. What a gorgeous morning. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this beautiful Thursday in North Naples, Florida. Had a great time, a great walk this morning, great time chatting with Roy. Get to see our friends Mike and Mary from New Jersey. It was fun talking to Steve about his beach finds with his metal detector. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous view here this morning. That's normally where you'll find Roy, right up there under those pine trees. Right up there is the Osprey Nest. That's the north end of Area 4. Hey, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time, check out all of my photos and videos. Remember, no way pays me to be out here. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Helps pay the phone bill. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little bit later when it gets reposted, the replay. Beautiful day here. Nice little breeze blowing. Some waves breaking on the shore. Absolute paradise. Enjoy the rest of your day from wherever you're watching. I know we got friends from all around the world watching us now. That is so neat. Again, keep those great comments coming. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.